What is going on, YouTubers? Welcome to another video. I did get a package in the day, uh, in the mail today from Greece. Uh, let me show you. I just came bubble wrapped, small box. Uh, this is where I got it. Uh, this is from Nikos Dresios Nag Masks website, nagmask.com, email, and dresios at hotmail.com. I contacted them on Instagram. Uh, right after I saw the Michael Myers movie, I wanted to get a Michael Myers, like, mask, head, bust, you know, whatever you want to call it. Now, there is no good, like, licensed Michael Myers bust out there. The HCG is absolutely terrible. Looks like John Cena and a bobblehead doll. It's awkward and weird. Uh, just not a fan. Uh... And then there's a few customs that are pretty decent, but they don't really hit the mark for the price. And there are some other customs that are really nice, but they're also like $3,000, and I would not spend that on a Michael Myers bust. So I contacted Nagmas, and today we got a wall-mountable Michael Myers like bust, per se, if you want to call it. Uh, and here it is. Boom. Check that out. So this is made, I believe, of a resin uh, and possibly foam-filled or something uh, based off the backing of it. It has a decent weight to it, so it's definitely like some sort of resin polystone. I would, I would guess a resin. Uh, and this is 100% hand-sculpted by Nikos. Uh, so as you can see next to the Michael Myers one-third scale, it does look great. You know, it does add some additional like detail and paintwork to it to really give it that weathered look. Uh, you know, so this is life size. I compared the size to like my Jason and Freddy. It's about the same size. As you can see next to the screen mask as well, you know, it's about a human size head. Uh, <clears throat> so on the back, it just has a little hole angled. So you have to, you know, put one nail, probably weighs four to five pounds if I was to guess. Let's go ahead and do some uh, close-ups. Uh, so it is real hair. Uh, I believe it might be a wig, could be hand-punched. I think it's just like a wig that is glued in, is my guess. You know, and then here is the PCS one. Now PCS actually has like skin and eyeballs inside. This one they did, you know, Michael Myers is known as like the darkest eyes or the blackest eyes. So he didn't actually do like skin and eyeballs you know, most people, like most Michael Meyer enthusiasts, prefer just like black. So this one is black with like a white dot. Uh, two white dots, actually. For the eyes. And it's fine, you know, from a distance, especially being up there, it's fine. Doesn't need to be like glass eyes like this. You know, just black eyes uh, to give them that sinister look. Uh, but here is the mask. Check it out. Some good weathering uh, right here some black you know this reminds me a lot of like those who get the tots mask and then rehaul it you know somewhat similar but this is a polystone version and it's wall mountable because i have thought of just getting a you know tots mask rehauled and throw it on the wall but I, doing a mask like that on the wall i just don't think would look good and i'd prefer more of like a bust type look this coming out of the wall you know it's has that look. The hair looks pretty decent. Has a very scruffy feel to it and look. You can't adjust it. Uh, I just did it like that. I, I think it looks pretty good. You know, and then comparison. So you can see, you know, like the scar on each side of the head, more or less. This one has the neck hole. This one doesn't quite reach that, but this does have the scar right there. And the scar right on that side. It is difficult for me to stand and get close just because there's not space because it's directly behind the couch. So it is quite difficult. I'll try from this angle as well so you can uh, see. Yeah, you can see the scar nice and good right there. And then right here it says Nag Studio. So I am not a Michael Myers enthusiast. I've probably seen the original Halloween movie five times. I've seen the 2018 once or twice. I've seen all the other ones, but I didn't really care for them most of the part. For me, I love the first one, the 2018, 
and then the most recent one that just came out in October. I thought that one was actually the best one. Uh, I don't know. I freaking loved that one. I know s people disagree, but I really loved that one. I mean, the first one's an absolute masterpiece. It's older, but it still holds up. The newer ones, I really enjoy the killing a lot, you know, and the newer technology, of course. And I love the look of the 2018 version as well. It's a much different look. But when it does come to collectibles, I don't know. I I am a bigger fan of the original OG Michael Myers from the first 1978 movie look. You know, that's always my favorite look of him. Even over the newer movies, uh, this look is the best. You know, and I actually just watched this movie on Halloween. It's like me and my wife's tradition now. But here it is. Definitely looks cool. I have thought, should I consider moving the knife over and the mask over and having them sort of like that? Or just like this? I don't really want to move the knife, so I just did it like that. The knife's kind of annoying to move because it's two nails on each side and you have to line it perfectly. Otherwise, it's you know, not going to be level. When it's just one nail hole, it's easy. But when it's two on each side, it's a huge hassle. The biggest hassle is actually that. Oh my gosh, I hate wall mounting that thing. Because it's three different screws at like a triangle. Oh, it's a nightmare wall mounting that thing. But yeah, here it is. I mean, it definitely looks cool. Uh, giving me a, you know, a life-size version of Myers. Because I don't have space for like a bust anyways. As much as I would love to. I think if I was to, you know, be like... My collection was horror and monsters and, you know, like basically all this type of stuff only. Then, of course, I would buy a true life-size bus. Probably get one of those custom ones that are quite expensive. Now, I'd want something similar to like an ECC style. Uh, but I just don't have the space because we're putting leather face one-third right there. Otherwise, I would do a Myers bust right there, you know, because I think ultimately that would look better. But we'll have to stick with the wall mount uh you know, because that, that's just what my space allows. You know, and when Scream Ghostface is finally revealed by PCS, I think they're going to do it next month with the Scream movie. Uh, they did show off the cloth, actually, uh, in their teaser video. So it'll be interesting to see how that looks. I'm real curious how it turns out, how big it is, where I can fit it, because I definitely want it, because I do love Ghostface. I love the movies. Uh, all of them, actually, I enjoy all the Scream movies. The original is such a, you know, classic, though. Uh, definitely still the best. But I do want Ghostface. I'm just not sure, and I don't think he fits right where Red Sony is at, to be honest. Ultimately, I'd love to just have a Predator bust right here in the move Alien there. But I'm unable to find a Predator bust that will work for me, because Cool Props canceled theirs. So, we'll see with Ghostface. I need to get some dimensions and see how much I like it if it's worth it or if we just keep the screen mask like that and call it a day for horror you know just get leather face in and that would be the final horror piece but horror is definitely one of my favorite uh, collections there's a reason horror is this main like really my main wall in my collection this is probably my biggest wall in my entire collection and it's focused on horror because I just think those collectibles are the best uh, definitely love Michael Myers big fan of the character the movies and uh, this mask does look good in the collection for sure. Uh, it was priced at $450 shipped, which I do think is expensive. I understand it's, you know, hand sculpted, painted, but I would have preferred a price range more like $250 to $300. I think I'd, you know, I do feel it was overpriced. Sometimes you do have to pay, you know, overpriced, you know, stuff for collectibles, especially when they're super limited like this one. But overall, it does look good. Uh, looks great in the wall. So there is the horror collection. Let me know what you guys think. So DHL is actually in my city right now. Whew, they might actually deliver Joker today. And if they do, I'll actually air Joker before this video. So yeah. Uh, but I'm hoping I get Joker today. I'll be super excited if I can get that Joker one. Anyways, folks, let me know what you think of this uh, Nag Mask wall mount. Michael Myers bust. I think it's really cool. <clears throat> I do think it's overpriced, uh, but it does look great on the wall for sure. Uh, you know, and what collectibles aren't overpriced these days? Anyways, folks, that is it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.